new drugstore makeup that has hit the market since probably the first of the year. Let's talk about some really good makeup that I think you're gonna love too. Hey there, girlfriends. I'm so excited that you're here with me today because I have in front of me a pretty darn good lineup of drugstore makeup that I've gotten since probably like the end of December all the way through now. Just so much that is being released. There's also a couple things that haven't been released, but they're new to me and I wanted to share those with you as well. So don't forget that I always list my necklaces, my earrings, my shirt, um, what I have on for pants. If I can list my rings, I will do that as well. My fingernail polish, that kind of thing. I always list and link that down below. We also have a numbering system here that you can follow along and each product will be numbered and then open up the description box. And inside that description box, there will be one through however many we get to. And you can shop that way with the link next to the product and you don't have to remember, it's very easy to do. So I hope that you enjoy having that system in place as well. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is I've been waiting. <laughs> I have been waiting such a long time for Milani to come out with a decent eyeshadow formula. And I really think that they did. These are the Milani Gilded Minis and I need to get my glasses so I can tell you what they are. This one right here is Call Me Old Fashioned. This is your classic smoky shadow palette. And I love that the, there is just six in here. This is great for travel. It's great to throw in your bag if you're going out for a day trip, whatever. And I love the saturation of these. They're really good. I wore this one today, um, mostly. I did wear a, one other color in the other palette. They're just really good. They are very saturated and finally they have come out with ones that are pretty. They're just pretty and they blend well and I I was really pleasantly surprised. So I like that one and then the other one, glasses again. Let's see, this one is the Wind Down. So this is gonna be your classic burgundy mauve colors and I really like this one as well. I did wear this color right here with a little bit of the light color, the lightest color mixed in as my transition. Um, other than that, I used the other palette. The metallics in these, I'm really absolutely blown away by, but I will tell you also that these mattes, they're really good too. Um, normally, mattes for me from this company, from Milani, they don't impress me, but this did. It really, really did impress me. I was really happy that they finally have changed their formula and let's hope that they stick with this. They definitely have my stamp of approval on this. Okay, and over, over on TikTok, there was all that controversy about this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. Um, yeah, I didn't get involved in any of that. I didn't even wanna you know, talk about it or anything. I got this before that little gal, I think her name was Michaela something. I got this before, long before she ever had her little they call it mascara gate or something like that. It was so silly. Anyway, I really liked it. And I watched Jen Phelps talk about it way before that as well. And she liked it. I have the waterproof formula and I do think it's really good. I do have it on today so that you know, this is, you know, my natural lashes with it on. Now um, you can see this wand is very different. Some parts of it, there's no bristles on. Whoops, let's get back over here. And some parts of it, there's shorter ones and longer ones. So you really do get the chance to go in there and really get all of those lashes coated. The waterproof is a little bit harder to get off, but I liked it better. I had tried both. I liked it better than the, the plain one because that one seemed to flake by the end of the day. This one didn't. And so I just use a balm, uh, to, a cleansing balm to get it off. This is great for building length and uh, you know volume you know as much as you have lashes that's my problem always is how many lashes can you coat when you don't have very many lashes in in the beginning anyway but i do like this and i wanted to tell you about it because it was one that you know everybody kind of were like you know they went out and they rushed to buy it because you know they wanted to see whether or not she was telling the truth about it i i know about it beforehand i love it this is the new highlighter wand from flower beauty and I really love these. I, it is what I have on as well today. Spotlight Liquid Highlighter, and this color is called Opal. 
and it is just they were trying to compete with charlotte tilbury and i like it i like it a lot i thought it did a really good job of highlighting it doesn't feel thick it doesn't feel heavy it is not one that has any glitter in it it's just shine and it gives you a pretty subtle glow on your cheeks it's not like you know super high beam if you're somebody that really has a hard time with highlighter liquid highlighter can be good wear it underneath your blush and you might like it a lot more so this one dries down to feel like a powder or you know just dries down to be on your cheeks it doesn't dry you out but it does dry down so i have really enjoyed this a lot now another one that is new to me is the j cat beauty this is all about the base and this is an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer and it is a little bit i will say it's a little bit more emollient so you'll have to powder this um, put a teeny tiny bit on i put way too much on there use a teeny tiny bit and then you will have to do a tiny bit of powder on top of it you could let it dry but it's going to crease unless you put that powder on top of it but i do like the lasting power of it and how vibrant it does make my eyeshadow i think that it's a really good one you know my favorite one ever is anastasia beverly hills but a lot of people found that very drying and they did say that it creased as well i find that pretty much any base that you use or any primer that you use for your eyes you're going to have to put a tiny bit of powder you don't want to put too much but you're going to have to put a little bit so that is one that i really have been enjoying i like that it's got a little bit of color in there and it can cancel out the redness on your eyelid next up is a blush that really surprised me now i did hear this off of tiktok one of those gals over there was talking about it these are the balm blushes you can use this on your lips as well this is from revolution beauty or makeup revolution and it's interesting that the way that it is is quite i can't even describe how the texture of this is other than a balm it really is just very creamy very emollient it's pretty and i do have it on as well I really like the color. It's a very neutral color. Let me see if I can figure out what the color is before I tell you too much. Nope, can't figure out the color, can't see it. So I'll put it up here on the screen after I figure it out. But I did like this. It does not dry down though. I will tell you that. So it, it will dry down a little bit, but the appeal to it is that it's balmy and it's going to leave you with that wet look on your cheeks or that dewy look on your cheeks. And so that's what a lot of people are liking. And even now as I'm touching it a little bit, it does still feel very dewy. And you can probably see it is still a little bit like a balm on my face, not a powder that dries me out. So uh, I really like it. I think it's very pretty. And the other colors are very pretty too. I had just gotten this one. That gal uh, over on TikTok, she's like fallen all over herself for it because they are really nice ones. And she has every color and she showed us every color. If I can remember her name or her in or Instagram, her TikTok handle, I'll put that down below for you guys. Hopefully I can remember that. All right, the other one I've actually talked about before on my channel. This is the new Wet n Wild Powder. Um, this is Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. Uh, vegan, uh, and it says it has collagen. Don't like that because the collagen molecule can't do anything for you. It's too big to penetrate your face. Tea tree, vitamin E. Those are all great ingredients. And this is a great powder. Um, I have likened this to the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't know why it says clarifying. I think that maybe the tea tree in it just helps it be soothing and that kind of thing. Um, I haven't read too much into descriptions or anything. This one is fair light, so they do have a bunch of other colors, but it's really pretty. It buffs out. It helps to blur your pores. I don't feel like I'm getting too dried out with it. I think that Wet n Wild does a great job on their powders. A lot of people love the Photo Focus that is the loose powder, but I think this one is really good, and I definitely could put my stamp of approval on it. Just go light-handed with it. That's what you always want to do with powders. When you're a mature woman, you want to be a little bit Bit more light candy. also i am so excited about this one now catrice came out with a new setting spray ultra last two fixing spray transfer proof waterproof no alcohol no perfumes now i will tell you that the squirter on this or the mister on this sucks it's really it's heavy so it sucks so don't do that but if you want to put it on to a brush spray it onto a brush and kind of you know really lightly put it on your face the best way for me is my dampened beauty sponge i'll spray it on there and i just you know kind of just put it all over your face just with a really light hand again 
This is so good because it doesn't have the drying alcohol. I love how long this makes my makeup last. I really enjoy that it doesn't have any alcohol. I think that drugstore setting sprays can have too much alcohol in them. So this is great. It's gonna be one of those ones that could be a staple for you if you decide that you like it. And make sure that you don't just squirt it on your face because you'll hate it then. But if you put it onto something else and then lightly put it on your face, I think that you'll really like it. I also wanna talk about another thing that I got from Yoelma. This is, and I know I'm not saying that right. I've had people already, you know, correct me on that, but I can't say it any other way. Okay, this is a two-in-one for your brows. I love this thing. It's got a micro brow on this side pencil, and then on the other side, it's got this teeny tiny little spoolie. I think I've talked about this three times on my channel now. Teeny tiny little spoolie to get in there and really coat those hair, and it's got a little bit of fibers in it. It's so good. Okay, this is the one and done two-in-one brow styler. I can't believe I could read that. That's so little. But yeah, this one I just put in a dupes video for the Tarte has one, that that Tarte has one. This is so good. And the little micro brow, fantastic, you know, for painting in your sparse eyelash eyelashes, eyebrows. I have very sparse ones. I have to make them look bigger. So, you know, the fibers there in the gel are great. The gel sets it very well. I love this thing. I can't say enough good about it. It's got a great color as well. Um, I don't remember what color I have, but I will just paint it on here so you can see. Um, I think, I want to say like it's an ash brown, but I'm not sure. It might be just like a medium brown or something. It does have several different colors. And I think that some stores, some Walmart stores have this in store. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to shop online and I, you know, I link everything, but if you don't like to shop online, you might like to be able to get it at Walmart. So that's a bonus. All right, very last, uh, CoverGirl came out with this clean, fresh, yummy gloss. And I just have the clear one, but this is really a fun gloss. It's very hydrating, very, very hydrating. It feels very pillowy, very yummy on your lips. Um, this is kind of a clear pink. I think there's a crystal clear one, you know, just a plain one, but it feels so good and it feels so hydrating. And I do know that CoverGirl, you know, now they are, uh, Leaping Bunny certified and they came out with all these clean, this clean line, which a lot of people, you know, really love this clean makeup. So it's something that you can look at and go, yes, it's got that stamp of being clean makeup, which a lot of people really appreciate. So I wanted to make sure that I told you about that as well. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. When it, it wears for a long time for a gloss, but at the same time, it's not one of those that makes you feel like your lips are sticking together or anything like that. So I really do like this one, super hydrating, and that's what I loved about it. All right. That was it. That was a rapid fire one. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing those. Um, I apologize for not showing you demonstrations of all of those, but as I am recuperating, I'm trying to bring you as much content as possible. And when I've tried these things and I really think they're great, I want to definitely bring those to you. Let me know down in the comment section if you found anything that you would like to share with us. I'd love to hear that from you. There are so many new products coming out that I possibly could not talk about them. Have you tried any of these products that I talked about today? And are you enjoying them or do you really not like them? I'd like to hear that as well. Thanks so much for being with me. I love you so very much and we will be together really soon. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, my friends.